This is the coolest mod. This is the coolest mod we have seen in so long. Look at this shield. But like these, these stone guys, this mod, this mod, this mod is insane. Strategy moon wizard. Oh, oh, oh. What? We have a bunch of amazing new mods for you guys today here in Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. A bunch of units, but first we have two maps. And this map is called the castle. And it seems to me, just guessing, just by looking at the map, that we have movable, destructible walls. I would like to see if all these things can be knocked down. I'm not sure if my cameraman can do anything. Uh, I'll try, but I don't believe the cameraman has the power to move any of these blocks. But I'm hope. Hold on. Did that block wiggle? No. Full speed. Huh. Uh, nope, no. Okay. I'm just crazy. Let's get some units, some of the new units on this map and try out these walls. So we have this new faction called the RPG Tabs, a bunch of role-playing game type units. For example, a healer. Ooh, he looks really good. Elemental Archer. Wow, these units actually look amazing. Assassin of the Wind. Let's drop them all. The Paladin. The Bazoo. The Berserker looks sick. The Necromancer. The Rock Wizard. My God. Chain of Death. The Strat... Oh, whoa, wait, wait, is that a moon? Oh, it worked, it worked. The Empress of Light and then this thing, oh my God. Okay, let's just take a look at these units. Look at these guys. Look at the weapon, look at the shields. I have never seen models like this. These are all unique. Oh, isn't that the Tree of Gondor? Isn't that a Lord of the Rings shield? That's amazing. This helmet is beautiful. Over here, this giant berserker type thing. Look at this weapon. Look at the spikes on this thing, oh my God. Look at the staff. Double serpents and stuff, a witch's hat. Over here, this guy's got a unique helmet, a beautiful bow. We have an assassin here, rockings, uh, crossbows on his arms, and some daggers and some punching daggers. My goodness, this guy is a reaper with chains. And over here, oh, oh, that's sad. That may be the necromancer, some sort of wizard of swords. This guy's riding a moon. I don't even know what to make of this guy. That's just insane. This guy here, beautiful helmet, kind of Gondorian, a beautiful sword. This lady who's loud. And then this guy who's crazy. Okay, um, we, we gotta check these guys out. Let's, let's give them a second. First off, let's take a look at the healer and see how he heals. His staff is glowing. You've got these beautiful particle effects. And he put a healing sphere over here. Guys, this is probably one of the coolest mods I've ever seen in this game. And it seems like this healer unit is having a hard time targeting properly. So if I get a handful of heals like this, and then we got a whole bunch of squires. Guys, I know we have to get to that new map, but we have those new units, and then we'll the new maps, and the new units on the new maps. It's gonna be beautiful. Let's see the healers. They're healing each other. They're not even trying to heal. Guys, there's, there's armies here. They're dying. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Remove one of each healer. One last time. Try this again. Now the healers only have the armies to target. Will they heal properly? Let's find out. You can hear it. It's it, they, they can't seem to hit these targets. Do the targets need to be bigger? I don't want to spend this much time on these units. I just want to see the healing in effect. The healing actually being done. So I'll get a couple of these uh, big old ice giants. Big fat targets. Like you can't miss. You can't miss healing these targets. There we go. Now they're being healed. I'm looking at the HP. I'm looking at the HP. The HP didn't seem... Oh, wow. Does it make them immune to the damage? I'll try it again. So I'm going to start punching this red guy. Look how low HP I am right now. Okay, I'm in it. My HP was going up. Did you see that? My HP was going up a little bit, but then um, the Ice Giants got punched. Interesting unit. Now let's see the Elemental Archers in play. Their bows are glowing. Yo! What just happened to those units? It seems like these guys are frozen in time. And there seems to be some ice in there as well. Here's their bow arrow. Look at the arrow. Look at this. It's like a weird curving arrow curving around this, this central thing. In fact, actually, I can't get close to it. Guys, it has it has collision detection there. Or something was happening. Look at that. Look at Actually, there's, invisible, there's a wall here. I, I can't move. These, these arrows... There's a blue one, ice. There's this purple one. My God, watch them go, explode, making walls of ice. You can see the snow raining down. Guys, this 
is this is the coolest mod this is the coolest mod we have seen in so long i can't get over how cool this is and we haven't even checked out all the units say goodbye to that poor 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 my god that's so cool okay assassins of the wind these guys sound phenomenal please oh yep they teleport and they're throwing little oh they're shooting crossbow bolts right because they got crossbows on their hands some beautiful diving the weapons on their hands are absolutely insane hold on hold on they have spikes on their feet too they've got boot knives teleport confusion some drop kicking going on you can see them do the drop kick effect and the enemies are confused they're made white maybe poison on the blades oh look at the teleport Oh my god, this unit is sick! Time for the holy paladins to go. These are the paladins, the guys with the uh the Gondorian shields, the beautiful helm, and these amazing maces. Covered in body armor. What do the paladins do? So far they're shoving their way through. Yo, hold on. A ring of light. Do you see that? And then they were slowly tossed aside. Like a low gravity of what is going on? And now what is this? Look at this shield! But like these these stone guys, this mod, this mod, this mod is insane. This mod is insane. I can't get over how crazy this mod is. We've never seen stuff like this in totally guys. The shield's pushing the units away. They can't get past it. Look, physically, physically pushing the shield away. This is the best mod in Total Echo Battle Simulator. I'm losing my mind. These paladins are so cool now it is time for the berserkers and these guys look like they're ready to go to town look at the size of this weapon there better be some some fancy smoosh a shout a charge some ground effects of the chieftain more shouts i wanted to see like oh oh what's that ring hold on the, the berserkers have low gravity i think i think that's what that ring was it seemed to be low gravity let's add some more little squires in there it seemed to be a low gravity effect as they launched into the sky. So there's a shout, a shout charge. Knights are in. There is this ground ability to get from the chieftain. Some ground that was the uh the tree folk ground slam. Berserkers jump into the sky and then slowly fall back down. So the berserker jump into the sky ability seem to be oh. Oh, and now these guys are turned purple too. The berserkers are also kind of crazy. Now we have the necromancer. Oh, we're about to cast. They're doing something. I'm in slow-mo right now, right now. I just want to almost see. Full speed, necromancy, they're waiting. They're waiting for things to get into range. They're in range, but now the necromancy is... What? What? What on earth is this? I can't get close. I can't, I physically can't get close to whatever this is. And now all these units have been, been killed by some kind of an effect, like a fear effect, but they're also dead. We need, we need bigger, stronger units to survive that. How about we go with the biggest, stronger units in the game? Some ice giants. Maybe that'll help explain to us what's going on. The necromancers seem to be summoning something from the undead world. Some sort of evil being? A portal to the nether realm? Activated ability. Very soon. Boom. So they crashed in from the ground. Oh. You hold on. Did you see the runes on the floor? Yeah. See those runes? The, the, the dark magic pattern on the ground. It seems to be a black hole with an inner and an outer shell with lightning coming at it from... Uh, the, and there's skeletons. There's a skeleton. They're spawning skeletons. They're spawn points. The necromancers have opened portals to the undead realm and now it's spewing out skeletons who are flying in this this is the best mod this is the best mod this is the coolest most elaborate mod i have ever seen in this game this nothing compares to this mod this is so amazing and one of the necromancers has survived let me possess him that is a long cooldown 20 seconds still on the cooldown for that ability the skeletons are dying hold on another portal opened who opened this portal over here because here come, you can see the skeletons coming out of the portal right there. Boom, you can see them. Big skeletons and small skeletons. And this giant just punched the necromancer. And now there's a, a portal between the necromancer and the giant. Is this a defensive ability of the necromancer? Every time he's hit, it seems like he puts a bubble around himself to buy him some time. See, he was smacked. And then the ice shrine is unable to smack him any further. One more time, boom. There's a defensive, and he summoned another portal into the nether realm. 
as these skeletons come out to attack the ice shines. This, this is so cool. This is so cool. I can't get over this mod. Okay, this guy is called the Rock Wizard. This guy here, remember the, the staff, the, the shield? This is called the Rock Wizard. And now there's summoning a boatload of rocks and the rocks are, are spinning around units. They're rotating around these units, like, like almost like satellites, like little mini moons around human earths. See, you can see them spinning around all these units. This is a very interesting ability. I've never, oh, Stonehenge just showed up around this rock wizard again. As soon as melee units got too close, literal Stonehenge shows up. This is the craziest mod. This is the craziest mod. I can't get over how cool this is. Okay, I know you were curious about this one. I was too. The Chains of Death. Mr. Death himself has been upgraded with some chains. Hold on. Hold on. Have all these units been slowed down in time? And now there's multiple sets of chains going around the map attacking units. Mr. Death himself has summoned a great bundle of chains, and the chains are attacking all these blue units from all sorts of directions. What was that initial slam ability? It seemed to slow them down. Mr. Death himself is a little bit um, wrapped up in chains here. Looking awkward. Waiting patiently. Oh, there it is. All the units were slowed down for a split second. Chains respawn, and then this monster of chains continues to slaughter all these units. That is so crazy, and the chains look so cool. Okay, I know you were curious about this wizard, so was I. This is called the Strategy Moon Wizard, and it's literally just a wizard sitting on the moon. He's, he's sitting on an asteroid, and he, he looks phenomenal, and his staff looks phenomenal. Straight out of Final Fantasy. Let's see what the Strategy Moon Wizard does. He's thrashing. Cast a spell, baby. C come on, cast a spell. Oh no, hold on, they're in on your moon. What's happening? Strategy Moon Wizard. Oh, oh, oh! What? There's meteors, guys. Look, pause. Look at this meteor. Guys, look. There's a meteor in the distance. Oh, my God. He's summoning meteors. You can see them all in the distance. There's one over there coming in. He's summoning meteors with a beautiful path. You can see the heat effects warping the air as well. Here comes another meteor. Right there. Coming in. Insane. Insane, here comes another meteor. Right on the left. That is so cool. Can he do other things than meteors? The meteor oh, explodes when they hit the ground. That's kind of cool. Things are on fire. Does he just keep casting meteors? I mean, I use the words just and casting meteors. We can see the meteors coming in right there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Here it comes. Here it comes. Jeez, that's so crazy. This guy is called the Time Cutter Sword Master. And we're just doing the RPG. Oh, this is the guy, the beautiful sword. Time Cutter Sword Master. He better have some wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff going on. Here he goes. He's in. He did a really cool AoE slash. That was beautiful looking. Swords behind his back. A little bit awkward. Waiting to see where the time. Look at that. Look at this beautiful fire fire. The black lines, the flames, the light effects, sending all these units flying into the distance. Very cool. He's a really cool swordsman. Awkwardly, again, fighting with the sword behind his back. Probably ruining his effectiveness as a sword fighter. There was a the little black slash, and there is the fire slash. All sorts of different slash attacks. But nothing particularly in the way of time. I was expecting... He won. I was expecting some, like, slow-mo going on. This one's called the Empress of Light, and she is just the holiest holy paladin you have ever seen. What is she going to do to these units? What is she going to do? She's in on them. Trees. Fucking a forest has grown in the area and there's light glowing around the trees. You can even see these beautiful particles of light coming up out of the trees. But what do the trees do? She seems to have created a holy realm that she is fighting in. Maybe the holy realm gives, gives her straw. Oh, 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 something just happened. I don't know what that was. Fitting me add a couple tree giants for a little bit more HP. I wanted to see what that was. So something happened in those forests. Something happened in those woods. There she is. Boom. She creates a force, a battlefield. I'm just waiting to see what she does. She's fighting. I'm watching the enemy units because there's some weird explosion going on that has killed everything. It happened instantly. Oh, oh, another tree. More trees are spawning. So what do the trees do? What do these trees do? I like how they're making this little like avenue right here. Oh, oh, there's some glowing light. Some slow-mo. 
What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? What is she doing? What 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 mega ability is she activating? It seems the tree giants have been slowed down. It seemed like a time control ability. This is so crazy. She's smacked around by these tree giants. And the tree giants actually managed to defeat her. This guy is called the Black Integrity Swordsman. Look at the ice coming off this one sword. You actually see the glowing frost and you can hear the flames coming off this fire sword. So an ice sword, a fire sword. These units are burnt to death. You can see that. Does that mean other units will freeze to death from the other sword? Yep, there's a fire and there's the ice with a ring of ice left behind from the impact. Very powerful. So one sword will burn the units and one sword will freeze the units. Look at these guys frozen solid in slow motion they're they're moving around in slow motion so is there some time involved as well and he's leaping around like a grasshopper like yoda from star wars fighting these tree giants who are trying to smack him and he can't seem to freeze or put on fire either of these units which is crazy he has very nice gravity effects he slows down very well he's having a hard time slashing at the angles of these tree giants but so far so good this unit seems to be doing his job i'm not seeing any other abilities other than the ice sword and the fire sword. So now the moment I alluded to in the beginning of this video, we're gonna take a look at the two new maps on top of these new units. Now that we know that these moon guys summon meteorites, I actually gave each side a moon guy because I want to see the meteorites and find out if they can actually destroy these walls that I believe are destructible. The attacking army walks in, the defending army moves in. These are all, look, look, the walls are coming down. And I did have to do the meteors. Where where are the meteors? Oh, there's the trees, the black hole effect, the first meteor, the second, the third. Oh no, there's too much. It's insane. You've got the skeletons spawning through the black hole effect. You've got the trees of light from the paladins, lots and lots of trees of light. Meteors continue to bombard the castle to destroy everything we've seen. It is just insane. This is, I can't. I don't even get close. I don't want to get close to this fight. There's the big old beams of light from the paladin. I don't know if that's gonna heal everything within range. We're gonna try and get close to the action, see what's going on. But there's just pandemonium in here. Explosive effects going on. Big paladins and berserkers fighting each other. Meteorites coming in, destroying everything. Beams of light, sections of darkness, black holes. I, I my camera. Something knocked my camera out of there, guys. This map is cool, and this faction, these units are absolutely insane.